In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, Amen. Today we celebrate the Feast of the Holy Innocents. And, uh, we wear the uh, traditionally divided vestments because of all the weeping and the wailing uh, uh, that was going on at, at their murder. And, uh, uh, we know uh, that uh, Herod wanted to kill the baby Jesus. He uh, tried to deceive the uh, Magi into telling him where he was, but uh, an angel told the Magi not to go to Herod, not to help Herod out. Herod was a wicked man, and so they didn't go, they didn't go back to Jerusalem, and they didn't see Herod uh, again. And Herod got angry, and he sent uh, out uh, soldiers to kill all the boys two years old and under in Bethlehem and all the country around Bethlehem. And some estimates are that as many as 500 uh, children were were murdered, there might be as many as 500 among these holy innocents. That's a lot of grief and a lot of a lot of families uh, there. And uh, this was uh, Our Lady's uh, sorrow of the flight into Egypt because St. Joseph got a warning from a, uh, an angel to take the family into Egypt. And when we pray that prayer to St. Joseph, this is uh, what we mentioned in there, he saved him from the Im imminent peril to his life. And this is the day he did that. And St. Joseph took uh, Holy Mary and the baby Jesus into Egypt. And so we commemorate that every day when we say a prayer to uh, St. Joseph. So he took him to Egypt. And uh, this is the sorrow of Our Lady. And certainly her sorrow was her increased when she got the news that all these babies had been killed. Because uh, the news would have caught up with her. And uh, she would have known some of the families, uh, certainly and uh, uh, been uh, uh, very grieved and uh, very grateful uh, that uh, baby Jesus was saved, but also uh, sorrowing uh, with uh, the other families and uh, enjoying their grief as well and praying for them uh, to accept that cross. So these children are considered to be martyrs and uh, in heaven following the Lamb as innocent uh, angels. So uh, the first ones to die in place of our Lord. And, uh, so we can pray to them to help us to uh, uh, be good. We can pray to these innocents and say, yes, uh, you innocent children, uh, pray for us and uh, pray for our families that we might uh, avoid sin as you avoided sin. We might uh, uh, be willing to lay down our lives for our Lord. Now, they, didn't, they didn't willingly lay down their lives for our Lord, but they did lay down their lives for our Lord because uh, they had no choice. Uh, taken and killed, so it's a great slaughter, and it just shows, uh, you know, how evil uh, people are, that uh, people will do very wicked things and very evil things for uh, a mere sake of some earthly gain or proposed earthly gain, and uh, they're willing to do uh, great evils, and this uh, we see uh, today, when we have the, the great evil of abortion, the great evil of euthanasia, all these things are great evils, and people are willing to do them for a little or earthly uh, interest, a little earthly privilege, and uh, willing to take the lives of others. And, uh, and so we'll have a, and there'll be more and more corruption and more wicked kings, and we've had uh, wicked uh, leaders like Stalin and Lenin who took millions of lives, and Mao Zedong who took millions of lives, and, uh, and so uh, we've had these wicked leaders, and we might have more like them again, we don't know. And uh, they might be in our nations, and so we have to be prepared uh, to uh, accept the, the crosses our Lord sends us and ask us to uh, uh, always carry them patiently. So let's pray for the, to pray to the Holy Innocents that we might, uh, if, if necessary, uh, die for our Lord. Amen. 